let's talk a little bit about mold. So we take mold, mold exposure, mold toxicity uh, very seriously. We wish more people would because it is such a ubiquitous exposure out there. Um, but actually our mold treatment protocol is, is pretty simple. It's, it's not rocket science, but it works. Um, essentially there's four components to it. Number one is the environment. So as long as there's uh, ongoing exposure, you know, whatever treatment that you're doing, this basically could keep you from getting worse, but it's not going to get you to the finish line, so to speak. So, um, so that's number one, is we want to figure out where's the exposure coming from, can we get away from it, can we remediate it. Um, it's perhaps the most important part of the protocol, really. Um, so the second part is colonization. Now this surprises a lot of people that, that healthy people with a normal immune system can actually be colonized, usually in the sinuses with mold. Um, so we take care of that using a very simple um, wash protocol just to, to get rid of any potential colonization that could be there. The second component is the allergic component. So that happens to some people, but not all people. And so we, we test for that with skin testing, just like we do um, any kind of allergy. And if it's there, if there is an allergic component, we would treat it with immunotherapy just like we would you know, any other kind of allergy. The last component is the toxic component. So what we're concerned about it is if someone's been actually living in a situation where there's toxic mold and they have been breathing in some of the toxins that these molds can create in, a, in an airtight environment like a bedroom or something like that, we want to help the body get rid of that. Um, the body actually gets rid of most of these toxins by um, having the liver conjugate them to glutathione. And so we use glutathione or N-acetylcysteine to help the liver be able to process these things. And essentially, it's also good to use some form of a binder, which can be as simple as a high vegetable diet. Um, we're big fans of chlorophyllin because there's published data that shows that it works and is very safe and, and very well tolerated. So um, that's really about it. So our, our mold treatment protocol is you know, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but we want people to take it seriously because we see a lot of people that are being made sick.